In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this kind of a cover page or a title page slide in PowerPoint. And you can see here, I've made this page kind of an outdoor activities where it looks kind of effect of a toe down paper. And I've given two different colors here and you can just change any image as you want and you can do a small animation effect to it. Please share, like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on YouTube for PowerPoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free and I have provided the link on the video description section of each video and you can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide, go to insert shapes from the lines. I'm going to choose the shape which is the free form scribble. I'm going to design a shape which look kind of a paper is torn down. Okay, so let's start from the outside of the slide area. Okay, so I'm just going to make it kind of a more, you know, how it, how it looks when you tear down the paper. The same effect I would like to give here. You can see here. Just make it more ups and downs yeah and then take this out and from out doesn't matter just take this out completely okay it should go above the slide area and then bring this and attach this one and release it so it looks something like this shape outline make it no outline shape fill i'm going to give a kind of a dark indigo color okay then I'm going to select this one and press Ctrl D to duplicate, bring it down, rotate. I'm going to make it flip vertical and then I'm just going to make it flip horizontal. Okay, just bring it down. Even if it is going beyond the slide here, doesn't matter. Again, if you want to cut this part, which is you know not required, but if you want to cut, you can just go to insert shape, select the rectangle draw the rectangle you can see here like this select this one hold the shift key select this merge shape and subtract so you can do like that but it is not required when you present definitely this will not show uh, in the slide okay or in the presentation okay so we'll keep it as it is so this size i'm going to give uh, this color a kind of a light pink let me just reduce the size a little bit again if you want to edit you can just right mouse click edit point okay if you want to make it more down you can see here or if you want to just adjust it the way you want you can just do that adjustments as well all right so once this is done go to the insert shapes select the rectangle draw a rectangle something like this all right from the corner shape outline make it no outline and shape fill i'm going to select picture or texture fill okay so because the last time i've selected this image it's coming but you can just change any size or any image as you want so let me just increase the size a little bit here up and then let me just go to the insert and insert if you have an image in your local piece you can just choose this option i'm going to select from the online so i'm going to choose the online pictures and here you can just type any image you want for example i need a mountain so you can see here i've got different images so again if you want and tick this one but remember this when you untick here there there could be some images which is copyright uh, so make sure that this is not copyright images we are choosing okay so i'm just going to choose this image click insert and you can see here the image got inserted and make sure to send this to back okay so it looks something like this again if you want to adjust the height and width all those things you can just adjust for example untick this one and i'm going to increase the top here can you see here actually it should be zero here also should be zero it is something like this okay if you want to adjust you can just adjust the way you want all right so it looks something like this and then it doesn't look like a kind of a paper is torn down so i'm just going to select this one press ctrl d and shape fill this with white and send back and adjust properly so you can see here it looks kind of a torn down now again here also same thing duplicate white fill send back and adjust it correctly 
all right so once this is done you can just go to the insert shapes you can give some more images so i'm going to choose this l shape here just draw a small l shape you can see here reduce the width of this you can see here shape outline make it no outline shape fill i'm going to fill this with white rotate i'm going to make it flip vertical you can just reduce the size a little bit then press ctrl d to duplicate bring it down rotate i'm going to rotate flip horizontal and flip vertical and i'm just going to put it here all right and then if you want to insert some more shapes some different shapes also you can insert maybe i'm going to insert one shape rotate i'm going to make it flip vertical and flip horizontal and i'm going to give a pattern fill here pattern you can just choose any pattern and the background color i'm going to use which is the same color so it looks something like this all right if you want to change the foreground color you can just change it so depending on the requirement what you want to do you can just do with the uh, this shapes all right so once this is done you can just go to the insert text box and here you can write any text for example i'm just going to write outdoor font color white make it center line i'm going to use some bold font open sans extra bold increase the size let the correct the spelling again increase as much as you want again if you want to put here exactly in the middle you can just put it and hold the control shift key bring this down and instead of extra bold i'm going to make this as semi bold reduce the font size and i'm going to say activities so you can see here outdoor activities again if you like to add more text you can add it and when you do a presentation slideshow it looks something like this all right so depending on the requirement you can add more text more uh, different shapes or different background image it's up to you to customize it now let's do a small animation effect to it uh, first of all go to the animations enable the animation pane and then here this particular image i'm going to hold the shift key and increase the size a little bit okay which looks something like this and go to the add animations uh, go to the more motion path and here i'm going to uh, draw uh, scroll down and i'm going to select this which is left and click ok so it looks you can see here it moved towards more on the left side again depending on the requirement you can how much left you need you can just adjust this one and then double click the animations uh, smooth start smooth and make it all zero all right and then the timings make it uh, a slow to very slow and click ok you can see it started moving and the animation it should happen uh, with previous with a delay of maybe 0.25 seconds so if i play you can see here it looks something like this